What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. Just in, got a, uh, a tweet from somebody today. NASA rover finds active ancient organic chemistry on Mars. NASA's Mars Curiosity rover has measured tenfold spike in methane organic chemical in the atmosphere around and detected other organic molecules in a rock powder sample collected by the robotic laboratory's drill. Researchers used Curiosity's onboard sample analysis at Mars SAM laboratory a dozen times in the 20 month period to sniff methane in the atmosphere. All right, this is just off the uh, just off the presses. Uh, I just had to do a little special space news for you right now. I thought this was interesting. There's a little video that went with this. Uh, I saw it on space.com. Um, it was a meeting right here. Let me go ahead and. We'll uh, read this and I'll play this for you real quick. NASA's Curiosity rover had recently made a surprising find on the Mars that could help scientists get one step closer to figuring out if the red planet has ever supported life. <laughs> Just look around, look at the rocks, you know, look at the look at the ruins. I mean, come on. I know whoever's writing this. It, I wonder if they're just blind to the fact that there's so much stuff up there. Like, I mean, if, if you put it all in in one city, we could just trip over and have fun labeling them all. So. The one ton Curiosity rover also discovered a fleeting spike in the levels of methane in its landing site, Gale Crater. Over the course of the four measurements and two months on Mars, average methane levels increased tenfold before quickly dissipating. But the cause of the fluctuation is still unknown. We really don't know much about Mars. I tell you, we're just learning we're just learning about our own planet. I mean, so many people come here to my channel and act like they know everything and if they act like I think I know everything, I don't know nothing. <laughs> I know nothing, believe me, about what what is going on up there i just like i said i just take pictures and i take stuff and i put it up for us to watch so all right researchers are particularly interested in finding methane on alien worlds because living organisms produce an overwhelming amount of gas on the earth while finding significant amounts of methane on mars isn't a surefire sign of past present life geological processes can also produce the gas it's still a good starting point according to many scientists all right, right now is too much of a single point measurement for us to really jump into any conclusions. Paul Mahaffey of NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland, one of the two authors of the new methane study, told Space.com. So we can all really do is lay out the possibility, and we certainly should have an open mind. Maybe there are microbes on Mars cranking out methane, but we sure can't say that with any certainty. It's just speculation at this point. Well, I can speculate a lot more than that, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is right here. You can go ahead and uh, get them. Check out my links below. I'm going to put it there for you. Here, let's hear the guy from NASA just a, um, just a tad here. And this, I, I'll just walk you through this. I'm showing possible sources and sinks of methane. I'm just going to focus on three most likely scenarios to explain the methane that we're seeing on Mars, both the background level as well as the spike. Uh, methane can be generated from the action of the solar ultraviolet radiation on surface organics. Cosmic dust in the form of interplanetary dust particles, uh, micrometeoritic particles, is a good source of surface organics. Uh, in the presence of liquid water, uh, methane can be generated by biology or geology. Uh, in the past, when Mars was wetter and warmer, uh, these kind of processes could have taken place. But even today, if there are subsurface aquifers present, the press process can occur uh, today as well. In geology, uh, rocks containing minerals of olivin or pyroxene, that's common, to, common on Mars, uh, would interact with water and produce methane in the process known as serpentinization. Uh, in biology, certain microbes known as methanogens produce methane in their metabolic process. So once methane is produced, it can be stored in the subsurface. The storage is in the form of clathrate hydrates of methane. These are molecular cages in which uh, it's a water, ice, lattice structure in which methane gas is trapped. From time to time, the clathrates are destabilized, methane escapes and finds its way through cracks and fissures in the rocks and gets up into the atmosphere. So I'm going to stop that there and let you guys get on and go check out the rest of that. If you guys want to go here, check out space.com, hit that link. This, you can watch the rest of it. Basically, what they're saying is uh, they're passable methane sources and sinks. So here we go. Pretty neat outgassing. I guess we'll see the uh, tweet that they stuck out. NASA put this tweet out. It was uh, 
it was just a picture, this one right here. Um, but it was a, uh, it was an actual like a uh, animated GIF file. I think that's how they did it. Where is it? I wonder if they left it here or not. Um, but there's a lot of good stuff here. Check it out. Um, it's got the water. We've seen these uh, basically along the rock bottoms. We've seen these. So look at this. This is so much funnier. The 3D version of is so much better than some of the pictures that come back. We've seen the water coming down. Um, if you just go s search my, uh, you know, if you just go search, uh, let's see, uh, youtube.com, what's up in the sky? Sorry, guys, I should have had this up, but just uh, the water, he talked about it seeping up, um, the aquifers and stuff like that. We already know that's there. Um, Oh, here, I need to search my actual channel. Yeah, I got it. What's up, Sky? How do you do it? It's just down here. You like search my videos. Here we go. Search. If you don't know about that, so there's little search ones. Uh, water on Mars. This is a cool way to search people's videos. I don't know if you guys knew how to do that from their homepage. Uh, right here. Just coming up from the aquifers right here. You can see it. Um, I know it's in the picture. As always, I've got it linked up. There's a whole bunch of these. I've been getting a video together for, like, the case for water on Mars. I still haven't had a chance to get it. But, all right, guys, interesting news at least from uh, from NASA today. I uh, hope you guys uh, are ready to keep this stuff moving along. we got a lot more to, to dish out, NASA, so keep it coming. You guys got a lot more to, uh, to, to let us know about. So, all right, take it easy, guys. Hope you're having a good one. Peace.